welcome back to another episode with Malika Does It. If it's your first time on this channel, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Okay, guys, uh, this is the start of a very emotional video for me. It's been four months now since I came to Kilifi and my time is up. I need to move to my next destination. I feel like this is going to be an emotional video for me guys because I have like I have a lot of memories in Kilifi. In the four months that I've been here I have made a lot of memories guys. Most of them are good, some of them are bad but you know life has a balance. Life In life you always have to get to see the good and the bad side which is a good thing so i am excited to go to my next destination but i'm also also so sad i didn't want to leave Kilife. you know I, I when i came to Kilife, i didn't know i would stay this long but something funny is that i when i came here i just felt like this is home you know and that's the feeling that i'm still having till now so it's, it's really hard for me like to you know leave my friends and all that but guys life like i said life has to continue and i am also looking forward to meeting my amazing amazing friends where i'm going oh my god guys you guys are not even ready like guys more amazing content is coming your way like really really amazing content you're gonna be seeing a lot of different people in the channel guys and i kid you not you're gonna be enjoying each and every episode of Malika does it. This is really interesting for me. I'm so happy and so sad at the same time, guys. <sighs> I feel, oh gosh, I know at some point I'll, I'll be crying in the, in the bus, but guys, it's just human, you know, it's just human. I feel like part of me, even though I'm going, but part of me will still remain here and Kilifi will always be in my heart every day because oh my god guys it's been really amazing it's been an amazing stay and right now it's 6 10 pm and i'm about to leave because i need to go to the bus station i need to take the bus to nairobi and yeah you're gonna see where i'm going next guys definitely <laughs> this is going to be a series of episodes into one video until when until i get to my point of destination so you're gonna be seeing all these videos from today thursday until sunday when you'll be watching this video most probably so see you <laughs>
Hey guys, it's been a long, long night for us. It's been a long journey. I, I was telling you guys that I was doing a video from Kilefe to Kampala. So guess what guys, we booked this car yesterday. Sorry, we booked this bus yesterday, bus car. And no, sorry, we bought this bus yesterday because I had booked it in advance. So we travel, we get to the Okay, let me tell you how this happened. I booked my bus to Kampala on Monday. On Monday, yeah, on Monday. And I asked those guys at the, you know, the guys that make the booking, that, that, that do the booking, and they were saying that we were going to travel with a new bus, KDG or something. So yesterday we get to the, we get to Nairobi, we get to the, um, to the bus station, and guess what, guys? We are given this old 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 bus that was probably brought out of somewhere actually i'm just by the roadside we've been here since we've been here since 12 12 midnight right now it's six in the morning we have not even been helped in one way guys so and it's freezing cold it's freezing look at look look where i am right now it's freezing cold so what happened is that they give us this old 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 bus guys and we were all so reluctant because we all knew that the bus that we are going to use to Kampala because it's a long journey was gonna be a good bus it doesn't even have charging ports it doesn't have anything my friend's phone just went off immediately we boarded the bus because it's so cold guys that's why you see smoke coming out from my of my mouth not smoke but something so imagine guys we are still here stranded since stranded since yesterday 12 pm 12 midnight what do i do let me show you guys the bus that we are in and the driver is just there no one has no one has even told us if we're going to be helped or not maybe we're going to be here for the next one day or so i don't know but let me tell you guys this bus company please avoid it let me just show you the bus Guys, yes, I'm just coming from right down there. And I told you I'm just by the road. So I guess we've been here since 12 noon. Let me just show you the car that we are using. The bus that we are supposed to get to Kampala with. <sighs> Let me move closer so that you see. To, 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 to our videos and then we shall show them because I have the number plate of that, of that bus. Well, it's, it's not... He got it. It's the just problem. weird. <laughs> maintain it's not that old it's not that old when you look it from the outside it's not because nikki is the l to show talk about mombasa and attack with the kbu it was super good speed in the city it will come in 10 bizarre and the cables are charging i think how yeah how i take care of it when i did when you make crack because my
Okay, we are supposed to go. So no. Okay, it's time to go now. Bye. Guys, we're just here at the border. It's been one hell of a journey. Like it's almost 5 p.m. and it's gonna mark like 24 hours since we boarded the bus yesterday. So, guess what? I've bought this two samosas and this mirinda juice for like 3,000 Ugandan shillings. I'm so overwhelmed with Ugandan money. It's so crazy. <laughs> but we've been here. We just checked out of the immigration. I, I texted you. So, I'm, I was saying that I'm so overwhelmed with Ugandan money, like a lot of money. I've changed. <laughs> I've changed. Like 5,000 financial links, but I have a lot of Ugandan money, guys. And our own bus, we are going to Kampala. Huh? Ati? Ati? Have you seen it? And there are no man being serious.